Hey guys, I'm Matt Nichols at Mr. Maple. Today we're in Oregon. We're walking around Seabright Gardens. Tim Nichols and Talon Buckholz are already in the garden. Let's go look at some of our favorite garden plants, catch up with them. So many amazing hostas, so many different conifers and maples around this garden. Down here we have an Acer Circinatum Burgundy Jewel. Ah, there's so many cool plants. This garden's layered with so much texture and color. Guys, check this out. Awesome plant. This one's Pasea Pungent, Gabelle's Golden Spring. I'm a big fan of this. The colors are intense. Uh, there's a rubrum I want to show you right over here though. Come on down here. Check out this variegated Acer rubrum. This is a vanity. Very similar plant, sometimes sold on the East Coast as uh, Snowfire. Acer rubrum vanity. Really cool plant. That pink variegation is so intense. I mean, you got to see this one. It's incredible. There's so many maples layered in this landscape, some amazing conifers, some dogwoods, so much in bloom right now. We're kind of catching this at one of the optimal times to be in this garden. Guys, check out this Wesseling. We featured this one on a cultivar highlight before on the Mr. Maple Show. This is a variegated horse chestnut that has that yellow coloration. This specimen, I mean, is insane. You rarely see them at this size. You can kind of look up into it and get some light coming through that variegated foliage and it is incredible. Check out this Pinostrobus tiny curls. <laughs> That's an incredible specimen. I see another one of my favorite conifers right over here. Guys, check out this icebreaker. I mean, dang. That's incredible looking. There's so many nice specimens in here. Pasea Abies Medusa, that's a pretty cool one right there. Oh my gosh, check out this green penguin. And behind that is unprecedented size. This is Ginkgo Biloba Troll. Check out the specimen troll back here. Can you imagine seeing that one in fall color? <laughs> that's insane. There's so much bloom right now. It's, it's just like wonderland of colors. There's a Styrex up here. Let's check this out. Oh, pink chimes. Styrex pink chimes. Look at the blooms. The bees are loving it. Gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> dude, check out this General Pulaski. You're gonna have to get way back to get this in the shot. That's Quercus Robert General Pulaski. That thing is stupid big. <laughs> like, that's crazy to see one that size. I mean, you know I'm no little guy. Check out this General Pulaski. That's insane. I love this contorted oak. Super cool. This must be it. Talon was telling me this garden has the world's largest spring grove, Ginkgo Biloba Spring Grove. I'm betting you this is it. I'll have to ask Talon to confirm. We found Talon. Come back here and check this out. This thing is insane. Uh, again, <laughs> normally a dwarf, but look at that size on Ginkgo Biloba Spring Grove. Them. 
I see why you wanted us to come here today. Though. Everything's in bloom. It's like it's a perfect time to be here. It was special in the fall, the one time I came here in fall, but I think the spring garden, there's even more going on. Do the Conants and Virginicus down here? The Conants and Virginicus are still in bloom here? Yeah, I know. That's crazy. You know it's spring then. Check this out, dude. There's just flowers everywhere. There's some incredible plants. The Cyanthus virginicus, so the Grand Sea Graybeard, still in bloom back here. Grand Sea have been out of leaf for us. So. Oh, one, one yeah, month and a half, two months ago. So it's cool to see some in bloom here. It just shows you how early spring it still is here. stuff. Right. Fair game, you know. That is an ugly plant. on that is just crazy the lace leaf horse chestnut yeah he, he bought he bought that from me when it was that tall oh yeah yeah it's like it's nice 
Yeah, it's coming out of this spring flush, but it's really a good, well, it's really a good plan. spring. Besides that one's vanity, normally in North Carolina this is very similar one called a snow fire or, or candy. candy ice. There may be multiples of the same type sport too. Kind of could turn you into one quick here. Delphus too. At least semi weeping. Is that Lindstrom's? What's? Huh. It's an interesting shape. Mona Delphi. That is Acer palmatum kuruai jishi, also known as the crazy lion. So it supposedly is supposed to translate as, but the leaves curl upwards, but this is a smaller dwarf selection, like Okushimo, but with that curled up foliage. 
gives you still some nice shades of oranges in the fall, but has a more multi-stemmed dwarf compact shape. All right, guys, I got a good one for you back here. We're off to talking about Esque Sunset and how you can see up into it. Let's go check out this massive one over here. Dude, look at that thing. Check out how the underside of these leaves have that pink coloration. It's already a super variegated plant, but the underside of that foliage really gives it something extra. Can you go over this way? There's... Come on through and then shoot back this way. Come on through and get a shot of this back this way. It's really crazy. You can kind of see how big this plant is with me underneath it if you back up some. I mean, guys, check out this Esk Sunset. This thing is epic. It just keeps going. And not only is this variegated, but when they get this size, you can get up under them and you really get those pink tones on that undergrowth. Spectacular specimen here in Seabright Gardens. Guys, check out this Orange Dream, a classic yellow Japanese maple. This is a maple that can really give you some really, really nice bleach yellow colors. Pretty spectacular with its bright, bright, bright golden yellow. An awesome specimen of Orange Dream here. Couple plants that are really cool back here. Really nice sized fairy hair here in the garden. Uh, Acer palmatum fairy hair, another Talon Buckholtz introduction. I'm seeing one of my favorite hydrangea paniculatas over here. We'll take you down this way. There's a nice Yuki Gasho here. Another big ass sunset. <laughs> and another epic esque sunset back here. First off, swing by this Yuki Gasho. This is a hydrangea paniculata I'm a big fan of. It's it's just crazy. I mean, the, the foliage is the flower on this one. So even if it's not in bloom, it, it's like the showiest plant ever. Amazing looking. And then another epic esque sunset. I mean, variegation is key here. I mean, you got this amazingly variegated ginkgo and you got this awesome variegated sycamore maple here and just draws your eye everywhere in this landscape from the variegated dogwood. I mean, you just look around, you see nothing but variegated plants around here. We better find talent. I think we lost them shooting footage. Check this one out down here. There's so many things in this garden. It's hard to pick out highlights. This is one of my favorite Davidia down here. This one's Lady Sunshine. And I mean, it's a variegated Davidia. This thing's crazy. Look at the sunlight hitting that. If that don't get your heart racing, I don't know what will. That is gorgeous. Again, Davidia Lady Sunshine on that one. Another impressive Yuki Gasho right here. A couple more variegated ginkgos down the way. Not named here. This one may just be variegata. But, uh, Showing some good color for a ginkgo this size.
Oh man, come check this one out. Tucked back in here, we've got Acer Pictum Usugumo hidden away in here. It's got that creepy variegation to it. One of my favorite Acer Pictums. Ah, oh, this is just incredible. This thing's gonna really brighten the spot up. We've got an Acer Bajurianum Waco Nishki. Still showing a lot of white. Some seasons you'll get this thing being pale white. Guys, thanks for joining us here at Seabright Gardens. Amazing gardens and nursery. Has so many cool plants all around this place. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.